Hey everyone, welcome to the second video of the Maple Mechanics series. Uh, this video I'm just going to be going over how to calculate your maximum damage range. Because as most people know, there is a visual cap at 2 mil, 2 mil, but your actual range can continue to grow beyond this. So if you keep funding, it will actually Im improve your damage. But uh, you obviously can't see that improvement, you just see the, the 2 mil, 2 mil. So to actually figure out what this, this number actually is, you have to do math. So with math in mind, let us open the damage formula sheet here. Uh, this very first formula up at the top is the formula for max range. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down part by part here to make it easier to understand, I guess. Uh, weapon multiplier is a number that is unique to every kind of weapon. Uh, some weapons share the same multiplier, but for the most part, they're different. Um, so as a staff user, I would want the multiplier for staves, and that would be what I put in my, my formula there. Uh, most weapons have a multiplier between 1.3 and 1.4 on average. Um, some weapons have a much higher multiplier, like claws, I think, have 1.7 or 1.8 because they have such a uh, such low attack compared to other weapons. Um, I think staves and wands actually have the lowest multipliers at just a flat one. So being a flat one, you don't actually need to, like it doesn't really matter if you put it in or not because it won't change any of the, the statistics, but I'm going to put it in just for, for clarity's sake. Um, the next little chunk we have in these square brackets is your stats, basically. So these are really easy to see because obviously they're right here in your window. Um, you want to make sure that you use all the buffs that you want to account for when you're looking at this number. So like I will use Maple Warrior 31 to get me to the most int possible. Um, it's 31 because I just used, where'd it go? There it is. 31 because I just used uh, decent combat orders to get it to level 31 for an extra 1% all stat. Um, once you've used all your buffs to give int, that's my only one, or not int necessarily, but your main stat, um, then that's that's the final number you need. So that would go right here for primary stat, and then secondary stat would be listed here. So my secondary stat is luck. I just put 6,098 here for secondary stat. Um, as you can see, primary stat obviously has a much larger impact on your, your range than secondary stat, which should be obvious just adding points because you can see a much larger increase based on the primary stat, and this is why. This is how the, the formula calculates it. So moving on, next chunk in the next square brackets is attack and percent attack. Uh, sadly, you can't just look in your stat window to get this. You have to add it all up. So a few points I want to go over about adding up your attack or your magic attack, whichever you use. Um, make sure to get all of your, your skill passes and buffs. Um, between Blessing of Fairy and Empress's Blessing, only the, the higher number gets used. The other buff is not used at all. Uh, it mentions this in the description for both skills, but since my Empress Blessing is 30 magic attack and my Blessing of Fairy is only 20, I am only getting the Empress Blessing. This is not doing anything. Um, then I also have 10 from Inherited Will. I think there's a few other passes. Yeah. Extra stuff that gives magic attack. Just make sure you include all that. And as you can see, I'm getting the, the bonus on these last two from uh, from combat orders and that actually does increase the the amount of magic attack they're giving me if I turn this off it drops down by one each I think so if you want to include that in your calculation make sure it's on when you're adding everything up um, and then just make sure you go over, over your, all of your uh, your equips carefully to get all the attack make sure you account for all the bonus pots um, set effects, obviously, like the Superior Golex set here is giving me 35, my Black Tinkerer set is giving me 50, and then the Rutabus set gives me another 50. 
Uh, if you have your pet, pet equips scrolled, make sure you're including those. And then uh, I actually have this Abyss Mask, which is giving me an extra 8, so I would include that. Uh, I think only Mechanics and Evans have like extra equips like these. Um, I don't know if Mechanics can get attack on theirs, but if you can, just make sure you're adding that in, obviously. Um, next important thing is character cards. Character card sets, if you have like all S rank or whatever, you get like 3 attack per set. Um, those attack bonuses are not affected by percent attack. So what you want to do when accounting for that is add up all of your other attack sources first, everything else besides the character cards, then multiply that by the percent attack, and then after you've done that multiplication, then add in the however many attack you have from character card sets. Um, the only other thing that works like this is inner ability. If you have any attack on your inner ability, make sure to also add that after you do the uh, the percent attack multiplication. Otherwise, you're going to get an inflated number. Uh, once you've added those extra ones in after multiplying everything else by the percent attack, you just divide that total by 100, and then that is your your next chunk in this square brackets. Uh, the final thing you want to do is multiply all of this, everything we've done up till now, by your total damage. So some common sources of total damage would be Hyperstat, which gives 30 when it's level 10, and then the two link skills from Demon Avenger and Kana. Let me just open this up. Uh, if you have both Wild Rage and Elementalism, these both count as total damage, so just make sure you add those. And then if you have anything on your uh, your weapons, whatnot, make sure to account for that. I don't, so I just have the uh, the hyperstat and the uh, the link skills. Also, make sure if you have any any other skills like buffs or passives that give total damage, make sure you're including that. But make sure you do not include final damage because final damage is an entirely separate thing that gets calculated later and I'll probably go over in a, a later video to explain how it works but this is not total damage and it is not included in your range so make sure not to add that so once you have all that you can go ahead and calculate your range and I'm gonna go ahead and open this spreadsheet I prepared beforehand so this is just a list of all of my magic attack sources. Uh, the first few here are from skills. I have character cards with the little asterisks because you add them after. Uh, and then all my equips, including bonus potentials. And then at the bottom, I have the set effects here. And also my, my dojo title. If you have a title that gives attack, this is also affected by uh, by percents, so you can add that before doing the whole percent attack stuff, and it'll be fine. Uh, so my total magic attack before multiplying it and before adding character cards is 1623. Uh, moving on to my magic attack, I have 92 total. Um, this is another thing where you want to make sure you're including any uh, any skills or passives, like Evans here have 35% magic attack from Dragon Fury, as long as they're in a certain range of MP, which is kind of hard to not be in, as long as you're uh, using potions and whatnot. So that's 35% that I have, and then I also have some on my staff and some on my shield. My emblem does not have any because it is a Tower of Oz emblem, so, well, I guess that's not fair. Some of the Taz emblems have a, a magic attack, but mine does not. So total I have 92%. Uh, int, really easy. Just look at your stat window. Bam. Percent damage, I only have the hyper stat and two 10% link skills, so that brings me to 50%. And then secondary stat I have just here penciled in at the bottom. Uh, again, really easy, just look at your stat window. Done. So once you have all of these numbers, you can go ahead and do the calculation, which I have written down here. So as you can see, I have the staff multiplier, which is just 1, 
times in square brackets four times my prim primary stat plus my secondary stat and then all of that multiplied by my attack multiplied by my percent attack which the 92 is my percent and then you just add one because you have a base of 100 obviously and this is just going above and beyond and then you divide all of that by 100 and then once you've done all of this you multiply it all by 1.5 so here I've kind of written out numbers uh, this chunk corresponds to 103,038 this chunk corresponds to 31.1616 um, I think I actually forgot to add in the uh, the attack from my character card sets for this before I did the division. Or rather at all, I just didn't add them in because I forgot. So, it's going to be a slight underestimate, but not by much. And then multiply it by 1.5 at the end. So, this whole chunk comes out to be 3.2 million. And then multiplied by 1.5 from total damage gives me 4.8 million as my maximum damage range. Um, as I'll explain in a later video, this is a little bit misleading because, as you can see from this formula, total damage is actually factored into your, your true damage alongside uh, boss damage. And so its actual effect on your damage is not as big as it would seem based on its uh, impact on your range um, because it's it's basically mixed in with boss when you're fighting bosses so it's a little bit misleading but I'll go over that in a later video this was basically just a precursor because the next video I'm gonna have a really long discussion about total damage, boss damage, attack percent and what a good balance would be between those three or I mean spoiler alert you don't want any total damage at least not on your weapons but I'll go over that next time so uh, for now thanks for watching hope this helps you if you're trying to calculate your range past 2 mil 2 mil and uh, yeah see you next time